Hello and welcome to another episode of React WooCommerce theme with REST API. In the previous episode, we learned about how to go ahead and, and use the create order endpoint to creating the order, which is basically your uh, WooCommerce REST API create order and basically build the data in this format and call the endpoint. Now we're going to see that in action. So when we get the response from the uh, create order endpoint, which we created earlier, uh, we want to basically use the redirect URL. So you can see that we have the payment URL. We want to redirect the user to that URL. So we're going to go to the checkout form. And over here under the handle um, form submit, once we create the order, okay, once, once this basically does its job, then the next line will get executed. So here we'll get the create order data dot payment URL because notice that create order API is going to return the payment URL in the response and we'll get hold of that and we're going to redirect the user to that payment URL and we're doing that only in case when it's not Stripe. If it's Stripe, we're going to handle it uh, on our own using the Stripe API. Uh, but if it's any other thing like cash mode of payment or any other mode of payment, then we're just going to um, redirect the user to the uh, whatever URL is available from WordPress for the payment. Okay. So let's see that in action. And then of course you have to set the request error to null, right? Because there won't be any, at this point, if it's reached this point, that means there's no error, All right? So let's move on. So now if I go over here, uh, I'm going to uncomment the default data because I don't want to keep typing it for testing purposes. So I'll just, uncomment the default one and the empty one I'm going to comment out and you can do that yourself I'm, keep, I'm going to keep this over here so when you're testing and stuff it's good to have all the fill data rather than having to just type everything over and over again okay so let's refresh okay so I have three items in the cart as you can see of course I think we should show the quantity also over here but we'll do that later okay so we have this filled which is great um, we don't have the states filled, so let's do that. So let's change to India. Uh, we have the states, we have Maharashtra. Okay, great, excellent. Now we click on the cash on delivery. It's already there. You can just choose any anything you want. Let's go with the cash on delivery first. I'm going to do an inspect element uh, to show you what's going on there, and then click on the place order and see what happens. And see that the create order endpoint gets called, right? Okay, so now, actually for me to show you, I think we should stop the redirection first. So it got redirected to this endpoint, okay, which we received in the payment URL, okay. And now this is your WordPress where your WooCommerce is installed and that's your page. I mean, of course you can style it if you want, but don't make it look like how the, your front end is, uh, but just to let you know that, you know, this is how, how it looks like. And if you go to the back end. And if you go to WooCommerce orders, uh, you'll see that that's 56 seconds ago. That's that's the order pending payment. That was 54. If you edit this order, you can see, you know, that's all the data there, right? Because that's what we have as a default data, see, right? The company, my name, ABC Farm, right? All of those things. So the entire data is available here. It all works great. And this is beautiful. Congratulations. So you just created order from the front end, you know, from front end, you make a request API REST API request to our own endpoint, which in turn calls the WooCommerce REST API endpoint to create this order. And it's all inserted in the backend. It's all inserted by the user. So this way, user gets a, a good experience because, you know, they can have a fast interactive application using React. Uh, and only for creating an order you can use WordPress endpoint and managing the order you can use you know WordPress for that user doesn't have to worry about this management stuff here right you can do all of that in WordPress but user get a better experience perfect so uh, before I redirect the user I also want to show you the shape of the data so I'm going to not redirect at this point just show you what all we have there okay so I'll go back of course, if you'll go back, cart would have been cleared. So nothing is there in the cart. No, but I'll show you those steps, which we couldn't do because it got redirected. So let me add a couple of items here. 
let's add this guy also go to bag so these are the items that we have great proceed to checkout and then uh, now we'll go with the cash and delivery let me inspect element let's show you see what happens network create order so you can see it's success currency usd order id 179 total is that's your payment url uh, and since we didn't redirect it to payment url i didn't go there it's still on our own site then this items got called so what was this so this was the delete one which means we cleared the cart okay and then we are getting the fresh cart which is basically going to update our app context and now if you check next card has null there's nothing inside of it why because when we use the handle other payment method we created the order data okay which means we got the in a format that we require then we created it once we uh, ensured that there was no error we cleared the cart and that's what happened right. so create order happened here at this point and then and deleting cart happened here and of course getting cart also happens here and then set order processing to false cart is empty now if you go back and check there's nothing in the cart bag is empty yeah um, go back and you can add more right so that's what happens brilliant okay so in the next video we're going to start with our stripe payment gateway integration but I hope you liked it so far. If you did, please give a thumbs up and also give super thanks. Uh, click on super thanks uh, on this video to support my work. And do start my repository to support my work. And also follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And my Twitter handle is Koditek. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.